recently I got my hands on the iPad Air and the Apple Pencil Gen 2 and I'm going to unbox it on camera and while we're unboxing and playing all that footage let me just talk about kind of my initial impressions and I'm going to be comparing it a lot to this 6th gen iPad because I think a lot of people will be coming from that iPad and thinking should I upgrade, is it worth it, is it a good idea, is it a good choice and um, some people might be thinking should I save like a couple hundred dollars and go for the older iPad 6th gen instead of this new fancy uh, iPad Air. So the one I got here is this beautiful Pacific Blue. It's a very nice looking tablet and it's got good Apple design. I think it looks great and it looks exactly the same as the iPad Pro 10 inch, I think it's called, uh, the big, the smaller iPad Pro Gen 2. And a lot of people in many ways it kind of kills that iPad because the only advantages that iPad has is a slightly faster processor, slightly more RAM, which might not really be necessary for most use cases, and a 120Hz display, which only pro artists and people who are really sweaty tryhards in a mobile game will actually care about. So 120Hz and all that, is it really worth the extra couple hundred of, over this iPad Air? I don't think so. For most people, the iPad Air seems to be more value. But let's delve deeper. Uh, personally, I like the design. You've got the volume rockers on the side. You've got Touch ID in the lock button on the top. You've got speakers up top and down low. So kind of a stereo effect. You've got USB-C port in the bottom. Uh, you've got a magnetic strip that allows you to charge and attach the Apple Pencil Gen 2, which makes way more sense than the Gen 1 Apple Pencil. And I'll talk more about the Apple Pencil later at the later end of this video. So let's just focus on the tablet first. And of course, you've got the nice 9.7, 10 inch dis AMOLED display on the front. Uh, initial impressions when, I ca when it came to using this iPad as expected, it's fast, it's snappy. It's a modern day new Apple device. It's gonna be fast, it's gonna be snappy. It's gonna be an enjoyable experience. Sure, it's not gonna be as smooth as 120 Hertz display, but if you're just watching YouTube, typing documents and doodling, it's fine. If you are a pro artist and you really wanna be in tune with what you're drawing with your Apple Pencil, then it makes sense that the high refresh rate is something you care about because High refresh rate is something that, you know, you need to have a very snappy digital kind of paint stroke, digital pencil, Apple Pencil experience. But personally, for my uneducated, unskilled draw, drawing skills kind of capabilities, it's more than enough and it definitely feels snappy. I definitely appreciate the new screen compared to the last gen, 6th gen iPad because it's much bigger now. The the bezels are much smaller so you can have more screen without having a much bulkier display. It looks absolutely phenomenal. Beautiful AMOLED with True Tone uh, display technology. I really like this new display on this iPad Air. It's very, very nice. Watching videos on it is excellent. Typing stuff on it is excellent. It's functional and it's a very nice display and I, this is probably the biggest upgrade with this that I like the most. Uh, in terms of battery life and kind of the camera quality, I didn't have time to test it out. This is a quick early, easy first impressions, and besides, you don't really care about the camera on an iPad. I can tell you about battery life though, because this isn't a long-term review. Um, I might do a long-term review down the road if I manage to, and then I'll make a video on that. But for now, we'll just focus on the things that I can tell you in terms of differences that I noticed over the last gen, sixth gen iPad. I mean, another thing that I definitely noticed on this iPad compared to the last iPad is definitely the fact that it is you know, faster. I tried throwing some fancier apps at it. I didn't get it on camera, but I did try to video edit on it and it performed much better on the iPad. I am going to compare this tablet with the sixth generation iPad. So if that's a video you want to watch, definitely subscribe for that because that will be a video coming in the future. But that's it for the iPad Air. There's not much to it that you can really judge in a first impressions video apart from the screen and how kind of decent the performance is. I'm going to need to do a bit more rigorous testing and I'll get back to you guys in a future video. So make sure you subscribe for that comparison between the iPad Air and the 6th gen iPad. Now let's talk about the Apple Pencil Gen 2. Now I love the Apple Pencil Gen 1 with the iPad 6th gen, even though it has really dumb quirks such as a tip that wore out really quickly and the fact that it charged from the bottom of a lightning connector, which just made no sense to me. But I love the whole Apple Pencil concept. It was very convenient and it was done very, very well. And I'm pleased to say Gen 2 is a nice improvement. It isn't something that you can really compare because let's be real, Gen 1 and Gen 2, they're not cross compatible with different iPads. So there's no point and there's no real point comparing them because if you're getting the iPad Air and you're getting an Apple Pencil, you have to get Gen 2. If you're getting an iPad 6th Gen and you're getting an Apple Pencil, you have to get Gen 1. There's no choice with it, it's not cross compatible. But I love the improvements because for one, it charges sensibly, it snaps to the side of the iPad. Uh, secondly, it feels a little bit better, feels a bit more responsive to pressure and stuff. 
just doodling in apps like Notes and Scribble, obviously. Uh, it feels quite a bit better than Gen 1. I like the tip, there's a bit more resistance, feels a bit more pencil-like almost than Gen 1. And overall, it's just a better improvement. The balance of it, the weight of it, the feel of it is just much nicer than Gen 1. So uh, very nice. I really like Apple Pencil Gen 2. And if you're getting an iPad Air and you're using it for work, I definitely recommend you get this stylus. You get the Apple Pencil because for writing notes, for doodling, for, for making plans, mind maps, all that stuff, I, the Apple Pencil is a godsend. I can tell you wholeheartedly from Gen 1 and I'm sure Gen 2 is more of the same. So make sure you get this if you're getting the iPad Air. Uh, definitely throw that in the cart as well. It's expensive and it's annoyingly so, but I would say it's, it's a worthy purchase. So I think I'm just going to end off this video here. The whole unboxing experience is on screen. I don't really need to tell you about anything apart from that. I can only give you these initial impressions, kind of like my first impressions when I compare this against the 6th gen iPad. Subscribe because maybe next week I'm going to be uploading the comparison that's going to be quite in-depth between this iPad Air and the 6th gen iPad and we can finally really decide whether this is really worth the three, four hundred, five hundred dollars extra over getting an older last gen 6th gen iPad. Because the 6th gen iPad is still a very potent useful device today. You can still use it and do great work with it. It's just a question of is it worth it to get this newer, fancier, more powerful full iPad Air and initial impressions it's very good really like this iPad Air it, Apple was bringing a lot of value here by taking the smaller iPad Pro Gen 2 and then taking away a bunch of features that only niche customers use and selling this at such an aggressive price I think the iPad Air brings a lot to the table um, but obviously wait till the more in-depth comparison video before I can really make a proper verdict I need some time with it but I, first impressions, really like this device. I'm gonna end it off here though. If you like this video, definitely like and subscribe. Greatly appreciate any sort of support. It's very, very important to grow this channel. Uh, and follow me on Instagram and Discord. It's all linked in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow, the day after, whatever. Goodbye.